Curcumin is the most well-studied anti-cancer supplement. It inhibits NFKB pathway and prevents development and progression cancer cells. Now, let's imagine beautiful garden. And in the garden, you have shed and gardener. This gardener is hyperactive and very enthusiastic. When he sees little bugs, he is very overprotective and he runs out from his shed and brings lots of poison for bugs and fertilizers. He thinks fertilizer needs for plant growth and poison is need for um, uh, poison and de kill bugs. But opposite happens. These poisons are too strong and plants are destroyed uh, but with fertilizer action weeds are increased and weed, wild weed, weeds are increased in the garden. So your beautiful garden is destroyed. That's what's happened. That's what's happened with NFKB pathway. Garden is human body. Gardener is NFKB pathway. The shed is IKB, which binds to NFKB and uh, prevents from action. Bugs are stress and inflammation, which can uh, which can uh, uh, provoke this gardener and which are cancer cells, which, which are growth uh, after NFKB pathway is activated. Uh, that's a mechanism of action, how curcumin is protects our body from cancer. Now what we know, what evidences we have, it's really important because modern medicine is based on evidence. Uh, we have studied from 2017 and colon cancer and curcumin in taking curcumin reduce risk of developing colon cancer by 40 percent another study from 2013 in the case of liver cancer it increased survival by 50 percent another study from 2015 breast cancer in case of breast cancer curcumin was no effective um, another study from 2008 is pancreatic cancer study. It's really important because pancreatic cancer is very aggressive. Of course, it was small study and um, pancreatic cancer advanced stage. And curcumin stabilized disease in five patients and in one patient it uh, had the uh, 73% reduction of tumor size. It's also very important research. Uh, in case of colon cancer, uh, curcumin and radiation therapy improved survival uh, two months. It's uh, of course not uh, little, but um, cancer was advanced stage already. Uh, and prostate cancer. Curcumin inhibited growth of prostate cancer cells in laboratory settings. We also have another study and according to them, uh, curcumin also effective in case of uh, thyroid cancer and other cancers, um, but we will not and we can't discuss every uh, studies here. But what is important? Important is that curcumin really exhibit anti-cancer action. It's very important. And lots of studies are currently also. Uh, and let's talk about dosage and main limitation. We have one main limitation about curcumin is its, its absorption, low absorption rate and short half-life. That's really problem. That's why recommended dosage is one to two gram per day and it's uh, more favorable if you uh, if you spread this uh, whole day uh, and uh, eating with fat meal increases absorption by 200 percent with piperin or with black pepper if you eat uh, curcumin with black pepper it increases absorption by 2000 percent and if you get uh, curcumin with liposomal form 
uh, it is also called encapsulated form or nano nano form it increases absorption by 10,000 percent it's huge improvement so we can fight this main lim limitation uh, with fat meal and piperin and liposomal form curcumin also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory actions it's also really important um, but i think most important thing here is its anti-cancer action because we have lots of uh, antioxidant supplements lots of anti-inflammatory supplements but we have no lots of anti-cancer supplements so curcumin i think it's number one at this stage maybe time will come and other supplements also uh, will exhibit uh, more anti-cancer action but at this stage i think it's number one thank you for your listening if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now